Hello again. Wanting to bring, this is Mary Lambert, and I wanted to bring you some more information uh, to protect yourself and others. Let's talk a little bit about hand washing and sanitizing and cleaning hands. Household members who, um, household members, um, and that means uh, your household, household of faith, should be washing, cleaning your hands very frequently, including immediately after removing gloves and after contact with any ill person um, by washing your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds. If soap and water are not available and the hands are not visibly dirty, an alcohol-based sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol, as we've mentioned before, should be used. However, if the hands are visibly dirty, always wash your hands with soap and water. And the technique for washing hands, again, is no less than 20 seconds and is washing in a manner that uses soap, water, or the sanitizer in a method that touches, cleanses all of your hand and finger surfaces. Household members should follow normal preventive actions while at work and at home, including the recommended hand hygiene, and avoid touching your eyes, your nose, your mouth with unwashed hands. Additional key times to clean hands include after blowing your nose, coughing or sneezing, and I hope everyone knows the, the, the best technique for sneezing if you have to sneeze and don't have a Kleenex or, um, uh, or, an ha or a handkerchief is into the elbow rather than the hands because you're just gonna add to the need to really thoroughly clean your hands, wash with soap and water. Um, also, key time to clean hands is after using the restroom, before eating or preparing food, whether that's for yourself or someone else, after contact with animals or pets, before and after providing routine care for another person who needs your assistance, such as a child or an elderly person, and washing your hands or using a sanitizer after accepting a delivery, whether that's a package at the pharmacy, a package at the grocery store, a delivery of a pizza or other food to your home, any kind of delivery where you're getting something from someone else to wash your hands after that. We'll talk in another session about um, using a face mask and what we'll put in advance of that, what we'll put on our OBC website is a 45 second video from the United States Surgeon General of the technique to make a face mask uh, with no sewing, which does not require sewing. And it takes precisely 43 minutes to make this with a cloth, a plain cloth, a t-shirt or something like that, and two rubber bands. So we'll talk about that and that video will be on the website.